Okay, now we're going to get into module two, and I'm pretty excited about this because we're going to start getting into a little bit of financial literacy. We started out with you, all about you, and I know we went down some pathways and we built some bridges and we built some blocks that maybe you weren't familiar with, maybe you were, but I'm sure you felt like it had nothing to do with financial literacy, and basically, as I'm trying to teach, it has everything to do with it. But now, we're going to get into financial literacy, and lesson one, we're going to talk about the 95-5 dilemma. So, here's the situation. We live in the richest nation in the world. Some would argue that we live in the richest nation in the history of mankind. But, that's debatable. But we also, at the same time, have the highest level of financial illiteracy in the world. Now, that seems like a very, very distinct disconnect and conundrum. But there's a purpose and a reason behind that. What has that caused? Well, let me tell you, over the last hundred years, this has been consistent. And basically, because of the lack of financial literacy in our nation, 95% of all the people who reach 65 and older, they end up in one of three conditions. They're dead, they're dead broke, and at best, they're financially dependent. Only 5% reach financial independence. So let's take a look at that. Look at where it all begins. Just as you, as you funnel down... Look at the numbers on the chart where you see how everybody starts in the biggest funnel. You look at the 55 million or so, and it, it, it starts to chart down, chart down, chart down, all the way to the 5% who actually become financial independent. And that's where you want to be. That's what this is all about. This entire course, this entire time we're spending together is about one thing and one thing only. It's about taking you on a journey to financial independence. This is where I want you to be when we're done. I want you to have all the tools, I want you to have all the information, and I want you to have the ability to move towards financial independence. So let's ask you this question. Where are you headed? Take a peek at that debt and interest scenario. Look at that little ribbon because they're totally connected. There's only two things that happen with interest. Now, you're going to hear this a couple of times. You're going to hear this constantly. There's only two things money and interest have tied together. You either pay interest or you earn interest. There's no in between. There's nothing else. Now, the 95% who end up financially dependent, they simply pay interest over a lifetime. They continue to pay interest. Now, we're going to get deeper into that and drill down, but just remember... Every dollar you pay in interest is a dollar that you no longer have for your own future use. It's a dollar you don't have to accumulate another dollar with. So interest payments are a great, great anchor on your financial independence. Now, we're not going to go into a preaching about no debt and how bad debt is. We're not going to do that. We're going to talk common sense here. You have to have some debt. Everybody does. And we're going to talk to you in logic of why and how debt and what's good debt, what's bad debt. We're going to get into all of that. But just know this right now. There's only two things you can do with interest. You pay it or you earn it. The people who are in the 5%, they handle debt and earn interest over a lifetime. So you can see that they're accumulating wealth through interest because they know something maybe you don't. Or they know what other people don't seem to know. They understand discipline, they understand how to handle debt, they know what's good debt, they know what's bad debt. But the bottom line is, ultimately, they make interest work for them. Now, if you remember, we discussed about Gretzky and we talked about never going to where the puck is, but he skates where the puck's going to be. Well, it's the same situation with interest right now. Understand this. Everybody around you, nine and a half people, I don't know what that half a person looks like, but statistically, nine and a half people, when you look to your left and you look to your right, nine and a half of those people are going to become financially dependent if they're not already financially dependent. And that's the best life's going to be for them. Let's define that. Financial dependence means that they are dependent on a loved one, family, friends, social networks, possibly institutions, churches, okay, and at worst, the government. They're totally dependent for their well-being financially. That's really the worst situation anybody in the world could be in. Only 5% become financially independent. So you have to ask yourself, 
where am I going? Where am I now? And if you continue to do the same thing over and over, you're going to get the same results. So I can almost promise you, and even though I don't know you, I can almost promise you statistically the chances are you are in the 95%. And when we get done, we're going to give you everything you need to be in the 5%. So again, keep in mind, richest nation in the world, highest level of financial illiteracy in the world. And this leads to 95% of our society being financially dependent. But not you. You're going to become financially independent. So I look forward to seeing you in lesson two.